this is so creepy. Yeah, look at that, man. That This is definitely the wave pool. It just makes you think how temporary everything is. Yeah, the map took us to the wrong place for sure. This is just some obscure monuments. Pack of wild goats. Well, we did make it. There's actually a few people out here just having picnics. There's some people down there hanging out. One guy in a tree. Now this is supposed to be a full themed water park. So I'm assuming the rest of the attractions are behind this dragon because there are pictures of like actual big rides and stuff like that. This is actually a little surprising to me because it looks like the lake has receded a lot because this used to be all covered in water. You can see down there, there's some standing water. You can see everybody's came in with their graffiti and written all on the wall. They got their stickers. This is cool, look at it. It goes all the way back in here. Let's see what's in here. Wow, this is so creepy. There's nobody in here. The idea of being in abandoned buildings for me is just it's super, super exciting. Somebody left a half drinking beer. I gotta use my flashlight to at least see somewhat what I'm doing here. There's gonna be a lot of glass. Look at this, dude. That It's all just tore down to the, the bare bones. Like that could fall down at any time, I feel like. So it's, <laughs> it's so exciting to standing under something that you know is not stable at all. Where are the stairs at? Okay, this is again nothing. There's a driver guy sitting over there for us. He said he wanted to wait, and he's actually a goat for that because we're way off in the middle of nowhere, and I for real don't have any idea where we would go if he was not here. Let's go all the way to the top. The graffiti artists, they come out of full force. Look at this up here. It's a great view. Look at that. Oh, that's actually really good art right there. Look at this view. Oh, yeah. This area is where the aquarium was. I'm not sure how many aquariums there were or how many creatures they had here, but they definitely had fish and other basic sea creatures so that kids and families could come and have a good time. That explains why there's such rock corrosion here versus around the rest of the park, and also why there's so much shattered glass. Slay. I'm sorry, I'm never gonna do that again. I don't know where we're going, we're just gonna follow the trail. There's still stones and uh, bricks on most pathways, so you're able to tell pretty well what used to be a legitimate path. Even though it's been abandoned, the trails are still pretty good. This is the first sign here of the theme, and the theme is abandoned. <laughs> Look at that, you can see the slide, it's just in disarray. The dirt and dust and debris that's gotten on it. Nature's reclaimed everything out here. Construction of the park began in the year 2000 and was completed four years later in the year 2004. However, developers overlooked several major red flags that ultimately doomed the park. The first red flag was location. The park is located in Hue, a former capital city of Vietnam and a modest-sized Vietnamese city. However, the developers thought that the park would attract more visitors to the city. However, it didn't do that at all, and that might be for the second red flag which is also location. The park isn't actually in the city. It's eight or nine kilometers outside of the city. So you would have to travel nine kilometers to go to the park. The park is located in a remote area. I find it hard to believe they would have public transportation taking families to and from the park, but I couldn't find any information confirming or denying that. The third and biggest red flag is lack of experience. The developers of this park were not experienced theme park builders, developers, whatever. They were a local tourism board who were trying to increase tourism to the city. They had no experience with theme parks and frankly had no idea what they were doing. It was reported very quickly after the park opened that they had no idea how to market and no idea how to manage the park. It ultimately closed its doors just two years later in 2006. Hey dude, there's, no, there's nobody here. Like, and we're the only person that's in this park. And it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of creepy for real. I don't know. It feels like the world has ended. This is very sus uh, out here. But what is there? Let's go try to see. There's actually been some attempts or 
somewhat attempts to try to reopen the park, to try to uh, renovate and to redo, but it's just never worked out. Some people talked about there might be some people posted up outside. Really, it's just robbery. <laughs> yeah, pay to come in. Oh, pay for what? It's, it's literally abandoned. There's nothing out back here. Now that over there is where we started the video because we could see, I could see in the distance those weird little obelisks. But I gotta imagine the park is a little bit bigger than that. That's the way we came, back in there. Let's try this way. Actually, I'll tell you what, I bet it might be down there. I don't know, because see, I'm conflicted. Because I'm thinking it'll be on that side of this little dip here. As you can see, it kind of, you have a walkway high, walkway high, and it dips down in the middle on that side of the dip. But there's also this bridge we crossed, and it's a well put together bridge, and it looks like it's a part of the park. And you can also see there's stones here. So, where there's stones means there's something in the park. So, we must have just taken a wrong turn. I don't feel like I've been bit so far, I just had to put a layer of spray on. We're back here to the start. Okay, well actually, let's go this way. Oh shoot, I nearly slipped. See the bricks are tore up here, falling apart. You're not here right now, but you can hear the mosquitoes and the bugs everywhere. Look at that. Katie Dunbar, if you're watching this video, I've seen where you were. <laughs> so this looks like an outhouse. I assume this is, yeah, you see the toilet piece. Somebody's coming here, busted that toilet out. This makes you wonder, right? It makes you wonder what would this have been like you know, 20 years ago. I was five years old when they opened this. There's no rail support here. I don't think I need to say, but if this thing collapses, we're going down. Oh dang, these are not, these aren't straight. You could definitely tell these are falling. We're on top now. While we're up here, let's see if we can find anything else. There's nothing in there. They got all the stickers here on the slides. Man. I wonder how much pain it would be to go actually go down the slide. I wonder if there's anything stuck in the slide. I like living on the wild side, but we're not going to find that out. More than anything, it just makes you think. I guarantee you, when they built this 20 years ago, they were thinking this is going to be the coolest thing ever. They're going to have, you know, families here, parties here. And now, look. It says there's an amphitheater here, so we're going to go down and see if we can find that. But I haven't seen anything other than just what we've explored right here. While editing this video, I realized we most likely passed the amphitheater on the way in. I'll show you here. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, look at that water. That water is, that's straight black. That's not even green, that's black. You, you imagine what type of disease you would get if you got in that water right now. This, I think is the Lazy River? No, this is just a pool, I guess. Yeah, this is just, oh, I bet this is the wave pool. Yeah, I bet this is the wave pool. And this is probably what used to uh, manufacture the waves. I don't know exactly what machine that is, because it did say they had a wave pool. So I think we found that. It's got a little kitty alligator in the kitty playset. <laughs> it just reminds us how temporary everything is. Because, let me see, can we get in this? No, well, actually, Maybe. We can. Okay. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah, get out the way. Yeah, this is really the where they were when they were doing their mechanical stuff. I don't think I can get down in here. Yeah, look at that man. That this is definitely the wave pool. Yeah, I guarantee you somebody has come in here over the years and tore out all the electrical components. Let's figure our way how to get out of here. We could climb up the slide. You, you want to climb up the slide? I want to climb up the slide. I probably could climb up that in all seriousness because the incline's not very tall. But I can't do it with the camera and I can't do it with the backpack. Let's go back the way we came. I still got my driver out there waiting. He's been waiting like an hour. But hey, to be fair though, it was his idea. He wanted to wait for me. And like I said, I appreciate that. This is honestly just a lemon. Like when you think about it from a financial perspective, because again, who would want to buy this? You can't open the park. It's going to cost an insane amount to rehab all this. But, you know, for somebody who 
I don't know, just kind of young and adventurous and just, you know, buy the land, build a house on the land, and then you can just work a little bit at a time, you know, clean the water up, take this back, you know, this and that, and then you can have your own water park. Oh, shit, there's something in that. Damn, there's something over there. We're getting out of here. There are people that come over here on that side and they chill, but I haven't seen one soul dare to venture over here to the land of overgrown mystery. It just makes you think how temporary everything is. Because 20 years ago when they were building this theme park, they thought this was gonna be the biggest, coolest, nicest thing ever. And the families that came out here thought, oh, this is gonna be such a great bonding experience. I'm gonna take my kids and my kids will take their kids and so on and so forth. And just 20 years later, nature has reclaimed all of it. That is a really cool dragon though, I can't lie. Way has a lot of really cool architecture and buildings. If that's your type of thing and you like seeing that, click this video right here.